Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 6th, 7th, and 8th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Scorpios. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you? Well, you know, weekend readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks, angel tarot cards for the main message, and then I generally pull one from my Archangel Power tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. Full moon on the 9th. You know, that's when I tell you to release, relinquish, and request. Release what's holding you back. Relinquish what you don't need and request the good stuff. Um, you know, I like to do it the day before, the day af the day of, and the day after. But, you know, three days before, three days after, that's okay, too. And um, the 10th, Mercury's going direct. And there's a lot of other kind of astrological things going on. So let's see what the cards have. Now, for you, for the weekend, remember I'm an intuitive channeler. And what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power spirit and whatever the message is that needs to come out, it comes out. Now, three cards face down. The first one's reversed, and that means a little stronger energy. Pay attention. So for the weekend for my Scorpios, the five of earth. Oh, are you spending a little bit too much money, my Scorpios? You got to watch your budget, okay? You have to watch your money. I feel like there's more going out than, than I, I feel that you feel that you're spent, that you're, that there's more going out that's coming in. I don't really feel like you're seeing the, um, you know, for what you're spending, it's like you're spending your money and you're like, well, where did the money go? Where did the money go? So that could be this weekend. You might overindulge a little bit with your money situation. You might have, you know, you might be picking up some checks. You might be, you know, check, and I mean like restaurant checks. Um, you know, you might be spending a little bit more and then at the end of the day, you're going to be like, well, what do I have to show for it? Okay. Earth energy is solid energy. We have that Virgo full moon right around the corner. So really the best thing I'm going to say is to be, you know, to, is just to be a little bit more frugal this weekend with your money situation. Okay. Cause I feel like there's some worries about money going on. Now, um, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, solid energy, something, someone you can touch. It could, you know, it's money, a lot of times money leading into from your job. Are you worried, you know, did you not get the raise that you expected? I feel like there's just this over overriding concern about money and, you know, do what, you know, just, just worried about money. You're just, there's just a worry about money, which is very normal. We all worry about money sometimes so at some times more than the other, okay? So let's see what else we have here. Fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So with that, I'm not saying this is for all of my Scorpios because I don't feel it is for all of my Scorpios, but it, there is that, that little bit of, you know, with the money thing, there is that little bit of um, job, job insecurity, um, you know, can you know can I make I need to have this much money coming in so this is that type of you know that's the type of worry that I'm feeling so okay let's see what our next card is for my Scorpios the moon the moon so here we have that full moon coming up so there's things going on behind the scenes with the moon this is when I'm really feeling like there's things going on in the background things that you're not aware of really, really, really be careful, again, to that this concern with money, really be careful about overindulging, over, and that, that word keeps coming to me, overindulging, overspending this weekend, okay? I mean, I'll tell you that one time, um, you know, my husband and I, we were in real, we were in really good financial shape, or fairly decent financial shape one time, one time in our lives, and we spent a whole lot of money. And the next day, my husband was laid off. So I'm not saying that's going to happen, but that's the type of energy that I'm feeling. So really, 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 if you're thinking of really just, you know, of just spending it all, don't do that because there's things going on behind the scenes, okay? Things you're not aware of. So the moon is Archangel Heniel. And so here's another, it's a reference, full moon, the ninth, release, relinquish, request, Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, 
release fears that hold you back. Your next card is the Five of Fire. So here this is, fire energy. So here we have another five. Five is about change, change, you know, change, positive, negative, neutral. It's still stressful. Fire is our Aries, it's our Leo, it's our Sagittarius, passionate, burning, but it's also determined. And, you know, and it just, I, I this is just kind of this really, really big fighting, you know, big fighting. Okay, there could be fighting, but there's this really big fire going on. And it's just, you know, I just want you to be real careful that it doesn't get out of control, okay? And it does seem like it's going to, I do feel like you're going to feel kind of like there's too many things, too many, you know, too many, um, too many sticks in the fire, too many rods in the fire. This is very much, you know, too, ma too many things going on at the same time. Too many things to accomplish. I, I feel like there's, you know, like you're just all, your, your, your energy is just all scattered this weekend because, you know, if we go back to this, okay? So this is competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So just be careful, be a little bit aware you know, I would just kind of say that um, this might be a good, this might be a good time, to, this might be a good weekend to just kind of um, stream Netflix, you know, stay in, you know, get in your pajamas and just be kind of a couch potato this week for you, my Scorpios. It, it might be a good time to do that. You know, like I said, if you don't have to spend money, don't spend money. I really feel like that's that's kind of the case because, like I said, I, you know, my story, and that happened many years ago. Yeah, so it, it's just things can change very quickly. Wow, okay, so here, okay, this is odd too. Now, okay, three cards popped out. Now we have the first card is reverse, strong message. This is, okay, you're going to have, this is interesting here because they're all face up. So anyway, first card is... Eight of Raphael. Raphael is your energy. It's water energy along with Pisces and um, Cancer energy, fluid emotional energy. And they're like, this is again what we're just talking about. You know, um, you know, don't, you know, there, okay, well, I'll, let me read this. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest, okay? So again, you know, stay on course, but like I said, don't, don't necessarily, um, you know, again, I, the money thing, don't overindulge this weekend. Don't overindulge. So then what else do we have? And it's right on top of the other one. We have the moon again. We have the moon. And this is Archangel Heniel again. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. So there's a lot of this about facing and releasing fears, too. So whatever it's like, you know, again, that release, relinquish, request. But again, there's things that are going on behind the scenes that you're not quite aware of. And because of that, we end up with the decision, Archangel Jophiel. So you have three, so you have three Archangel energy cards. Release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So there's a lot of weird different type of energy this weekend. The main message that I'm going to go with is there's things that you're not aware of. So And because of that, I'm going to tell you to really, really stay, you know, control your money this weekend. I, I keep coming back to that, I know, but control your money. Don't overspend. Okay, I'm not saying if you have to go to the grocery shopping, you have to pay your bills, you have to do your, you know, you have to live your life. But if it's like, you know, oh, I'm going to go and, and indulge on this or indulge, I'm really saying, you know, kind of watch your money a little bit this weekend, okay? And, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, the... Yeah, you know, the need to detox, you know, it could be that need, to, you know, like I said, it's a good weekend to stay and be a couch potato, okay? Okay. That way, you don't, you know, you don't overspend and you let things kind of play out. So, my Scorpios, if you enjoy my readings, remember, down there, like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Scorpios, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.